welcome today we will discuss about the shape of corona in the last uh, two classes we have uh, discussed the outermost two worlds that is calyx and corolla corolla is the second world from outside and it is made up of petals see now we can see the shape of corolla there are different shapes you can observe in the case of uh, angiosperm flowers the first one is cruciform so cruciform corolla they are only you can see four petals they are arranged in the form of a greek cross shaped manner only four petals are there they are arranged in the form of a cross greek cross shaped and such a type of a corolla is called cruciform corolla usually found in brassicaceae members brassica there you can see this cruciform corolla so the shape of corolla is also very important for identifying uh, family as well as species and the second one is caryophyllaceous corolla here the number of petals are five in numbers and the margin of these petals you know they are ciliated or serrated and such a type of a corolla is called caryophyllaceous corolla usually found in dianthus right and third one is rosaceous corolla here the number of petals are the multiples of five numbers they are usually arranged in the form of a ring shaped manner on the thalamus multiples of five number that you can see in the case of rose there the number of petals are numerous that is the multiples of five numbers they are brightly colored and such a type of corolla is called rosaceous corolla and the next one is campanulate corolla what do you mean by campanulate campanulate means bell shaped corolla usually found in uh, cucurbita cascuta vidhania there you can see this type of bell shaped corolla and such a bell shaped corolla is called campanulate corolla could you follow me then tubular corolla as in the case of uh, asteraceae members there you can see two types of flowers called the disc florets and the ray florets disc florets and uh, ray florets disc florets are other is called tubular uh, florets tubular corolla as in the case of sunflower there you can see two types of uh, florets tubular florets and uh, ray florets tubular florets are usually found at the center and the ray florets are usually arranged towards periphery and these tubular florets are not very much attractive but the ray florets uh, are very attractive they can attract uh, uh, agents for uh, pollination and here you can see the tubular uh, florets tubular corolla example sunflower then bilabiate corolla bilabiate you can see in the case of uh, labiate members now it is called lamiaceae members like uh, osimum salvia there you can see bilabiate corolla see this is osimum such corollas are called bilabiate corolla then hypocriteriform corolla hypho hypocratery form that means wheel shaped corolla in the case of mosanta and ixora there you can see the wheel shaped corolla a wheel shaped corolla is called hypocratery form corolla then rotate corolla rotate as in the case of nerium solanum there you can see the rotate corolla so the shape of Uh, corolla is very much important while describing plant species right then another one is infundibuliform corolla infundibuliform corolla infundibuliform means uh, funnel shaped infundibuliform means funnel shaped the case of dathura petunia 
there you can see this funnel shaped corolla and such a funnel shaped corolla is called infundibuliform corolla personate corolla as in the case of antirrhinum there you can see personate then lugulate other is called strap shaped corolla in the case or ray florets so in the case of asteraceae members like a sunflower songus there you can see this trap shaped or such a uh, florets are called ray florets the case of asteraceae members sunflower there you can see the outermost uh, uh, florets are ray florets they are brightly color other is called a strap shaped other is called a tongue shaped uh, corolla so that you can easily identify the species identify the family then papillation is corolla Papillonaceous corolla usually seen in papillonaceous uh, members there you can see a standard petal here you can see standard petal two wing petal and two keel petals see there you can see see here you can see a, a standard petal wing petal and keel petal papillonaceous corolla see this much about some of the common shapes found in uh, angiosperm flowers the next class we can discuss the estivation thank you very much